हेलो व्यूवर्स इन टूडेज क्लास वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वन इम्पॉर्टेंट प्रॉब्लम इन डिफरेंशियल कैलकुलस दैट इज द डिफरेंशियबिलिटी ऑफ ग्रेटेस्ट इंटीजर फंक्शन राइट सो हियर वी हैव अ फंक्शन एफ ऑफ एक्स इज इक्वल टू ग्रेटेस्ट इंटीजर एक्स माइनस टू एंड वी हैव टू टेस्ट द डिफरेंशियबिलिटी ऑफ दिस फंक्शन at say x is equal to uh, 3 right now let us see uh, whether this uh, uh, function which involves the greatest integer function is uh, differentiable at x is equal to 3 or not right so now uh, the we know uh, uh, from uh, calculus that uh, a function is said to be differentiable if uh, the right hand derivative Uh, exist and the left hand derivative exist that is this is finite this is also finite and both are equal right so right hand derivative is uh, exist left hand derivative exist and both are equal so if these two limits are equal at the given point then the function is said to be differentiable at that given point right so now let us start so now uh, we know that the right hand derivative the right hand derivative is given by the limit that is limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x uh, divided by h and the uh, left hand uh, derivative is given by a uh, limit h tends to 0 and f of x minus h minus f of x divided by minus h right so now uh, here uh, what we will do in this case uh, f of x is given by greatest integer x minus 2 and uh, the point is given as uh, x is equal to 3 now we have to evaluate uh, this limit and this limit that is the right hand derivative and the left hand derivative and uh, we have to see whether uh, these two uh, limits exist or not and if they exist whether they are equal or not right so uh, let us find the uh, limits so now here uh, the right hand derivative is given by limit h tends to 0 and f of x plus h so x is 3 so we have f of 3 plus h uh, minus f of 3 uh, divided by h right and now we have limit h tends to 0 and f of 3 plus h uh, uh, will be obtained by substituting here uh, x is equal to 3 plus h so now we have 3 plus h minus 2 and f of 3 is equal to uh, 3 minus uh, 2 right and here we have h and here uh, the sign uh, denotes the greatest integer function so now we have uh, limit h tends to 0 and here uh, 3 minus 2 is uh, 1 so we have 1 plus h greatest integer 1 plus h and here we have greatest integer 1 3 minus 2 is 1 and uh, here we have h right now here uh, there is one important thing that is uh, this h is a very very small quantity right but it is a positive quantity it implies that h is uh, a positive quantity but very very small right so here uh, we see that uh, uh, this uh, 1 plus h this quantity 1 plus h is uh, slightly uh, greater than uh, 1 right so it is slightly greater than 1 so uh, the value of greatest integer uh, 1 plus h is uh, equal to uh, 1 right because uh, we know that uh, whenever uh, say a point uh, a it lies between say 1 and uh, 2 then the value of greatest integer a is always equal to 1 so here uh, this 
1 plus h uh, can be taken as a so 1 plus h is actually greater than 1 but it is less than 2 right it implies that 1 plus h lies between 1 and 2 so the value of uh, greatest integer 1 plus h is equal to 1 uh, we can also verify it by taking h as a very very small quantity for example if i take h as 0 0.001 then uh, 1 plus h is equal to 1 plus 0 0.001 which is equal to 1.001 right so therefore the value of greatest integer 1 plus h is equal to greatest integer 1.001 and the value of this expression is 1 due to the definition of uh, greatest integer less than or equal to 1.001 right so here we have 1 right and uh, so we have limit h tends to 0 here we have 1 and here we have uh, the value of greatest integer 1 is simply 1 and we have uh, h so the numerator becomes 0 so the limit or the right hand derivative uh, at x is equal to 3 is 0 and this is a finite quantity now let us consider the left hand derivative so the left hand derivative is given by this limit and here uh, this limit at x is equal to 3 it can be written as limit h tends to 0 f of 3 minus h minus f of 3 divided by minus h right and now uh, f of 3 minus h uh, is obtained by substituting here for x uh, 3 minus h right so we have uh, 3 minus h minus 2 and here we have uh, uh, 3 minus uh, 2 and uh, divided by minus h right so we have limit h tends to 0 and here we have 3 minus 2 is 1 so we have 1 minus h right and here we have 3 minus 2 that is 1 and here we have minus h now again uh, uh, we can uh, uh, explain the same thing here because this h is uh, a positive quantity right so h is uh, a positive quantity but it is a very very small quantity so uh, here the value of greatest integer 1 minus h is uh, actually equal to uh, 0 why it is 0 see 1 minus h is uh, less than uh, 1 right this is less than 1 but it is greater than 0 so therefore the value of greatest integer 1 minus h is uh, equal to 0 we can also verify it by taking a particular value of h uh, let me take h is equal to 0 0.001 so 1 minus h is equal to 1 minus 0 0.001 uh, so this is equal to so this is equal to 0 0.999 right and the value of greatest integer 0 0.999 is equal to uh, 0 right okay so now here uh, this limit becomes limit h tends to 0 and uh, the value of greatest integer 1 minus h is 0 so here we have 0 minus 1 because the value of greatest integer 1 is simply 1 and here we have uh, minus h right so now if we uh, simplify it then we'll get limit h tends to 0 and 0 minus 1 is minus 1 over minus h that is limit h tends to 0 and this is 1 over uh, h right and uh, we see that uh, this limit when h tends to 0 this is not defined right and uh, it shows that the left hand derivative uh, does not exist right so the left hand derivative uh, is not defined or it is uh, not a finite quantity here 
so we see that the right hand derivative it do exist and it is finite and equal to uh, zero but the left hand derivative uh, is uh, infinite not defined and uh, hence uh, the right hand derivative is not equal to uh, the uh, left hand derivative right but uh, for a differentiable function both these derivative uh, should exist should be finite and should be equal right but in this case uh, uh, this function at x is equal to 3 uh, does not fulfill this condition hence we conclude that uh, this function f of x which is greatest integer x minus 2 is uh, not differentiable at x is equal to 3.